Okay, well, I ordered uh, more Clecos, like I said I would. I got 300 more of them, and I've started the process of uh, moving on with the next step. I will say one thing with the ordering of Clecos. Be sure to count the number of Clecos. I got mine from Avery. I ordered 300. They sent me 299. Plus, one of them they sent me is all boogered up. You can kind of see right there that it's all chopped to heck. Uh, you know, it just came out of the machine bad. So technically, they owe me two more Clecos. Now, that's a dollar. I'm not going to quibble over a dollar. You know, I might mention it at some point in the future, but whatever. Anyways, I'm just glad to get back to work. All right. Well, and here you can see me actually going through the bags. Uh, they send me uh, three brown paper bags, each with ten uh, Ziploc bags that, in theory, have ten Clecos each in, and one of those bags only had nine. You know, Avery's great. I really like Avery, by the way. Uh, I'm not bashing those guys. It was just a mistake. You know, someone made a mistake, miscounted, and, you know, I, I lost one Clico. We'll be, I'm sure I will lose plenty more, uh, you know, either through destroying them or them falling off the bench or whatever. I'm just not going to quibble over a single Clico. It's not worth my time or theirs. So what you see me working on is 9-7, step 3. I'm going through and match drilling all of the holes in the skin and using those copious amounts of Clecos that I purchased uh, to, you know, put in each hole as I drill them. Uh, you're supposed to start from the center and work outward, which is what I'm doing here. Um, listening to an audiobook and drinking some, I think it was grape juice? Actually, it uh, might be grape drops. I use drops in water. Pretty tasty. So, not exciting, but, uh, you know, it is what it is. Now, I will say, the... The decision to, uh, I talk about this in a later video actually, but the decision to go left and right and then, you know, stay on one elevator for a while I think is a good one, uh, largely because it's very easy, I think, to get the two pieces confused between the left and right elevators, and if you don't have a lot of space, uh, you know, play, you know, someplace to lay out everything, then uh, that kind of exacerbates the problem, right? Um, you know, you need to have a way where you can say, this group of parts, which are identical when you start, uh, belong to the right one, and this group of parts belong to the left one, and always have them marked as left versus right. Um, I, I think that that's something that I've done a good job with, but I would definitely recommend being proactive when it comes to marking all the parts left or right, uh, you know, where they live on the plane and on the individual piece, because many of the parts just look identical, uh, especially after you get them match drilled. Like once you drill a piece, like there's a little, there's a little, uh, reinforcement plate, you know, you, once you drill the reinforcement plate for, you know, the right elevator and it's the front, uh, or the upper uh, reinforcement plate, well then that's where it should always go. And you could easily just flip it around backwards on that exact same spot and have it fit slightly differently. Or even on the same piece of metal, slide down to the other position, it's completely wrong. Or accidentally put it on the other elevator entirely and wow, no, it's really wrong. And it's just, just be, you know, be careful and definitely mark the heck out of stuff so you know exactly where it lives. Also, I lost a little bit of video. Uh, I don't have step one anywhere where I match drill, and you see those two gold Clecos right there? Those are the ones I'm talking about. There's that flange that flips down, and you need to know how to drill all those, and you can see that that uh, that's the bend, those tabs. And look at all those glorious Clecos. Ha ha. Boy, I can't believe you need that many, but you do. Once I get one of the uh, elevators there done, I put it off. Uh, on the side over there and start working on the next one. Um, there's a lot of just doing the same thing over and over again. Something I, I talk about in a later video and I'll bring it up briefly here is I have I do have more space than I'm using. I mean you can see the motorcycle over there. I can I can easily move it uh, to someplace else in the garage and I could expand into that other area. I mean, that whole that area is where my truck normally is parked. Um, and I think I'm gonna have to do that uh, eventually. So the, the green board that you see that I'm working on is an old table. It's a, you know, uh, it was originally an eight by, or four by eight game board that, you know, I've 
ripped and turned into this. And the table itself is about two and a half feet uh, from front to back, you know, just shy of three feet actually, now that I think about it, and eight feet long. And, you know, it's it's a good amount of space. I think it's a an effective amount of space, but it, I think it would be better if I pulled it away from the wall and made it so that I could walk all the way around it, especially when it comes to the wings, which, you know, the wings are going to be much bigger constructs and are going to take a lot more room. And so I think I'm going to have to do that uh, going forward when I work on the next step of this, which, by the way, I've already started saving money for. Um, I highly recommend saving money now if you're going to do this because each of these pieces get more and more expensive. One thing you may be noticing is that on this second elevator, instead of doing every single hole, uh, especially across the spars, I'm doing every other hole because if you look at my bucket, I'm running out of Clecos again. You know, and this is after buying another 300. You know, I've got 600 some odd Clecos now and I'm using them all. So now we're moving on to four. So four is the trim cable anchor bracket. Uh, and you have a little a uh, little bracket with a little bolts uh, soldered to it and you make holes on the cover which is the bigger piece there and yeah you're marrying those two pieces together um, that's that bracket is hard steel and so uh, get a good drill bit because if you don't have one you're gonna have a hard time drilling through that uh, I went through one drill bit before I realized it was a wood drill bit <laughs> whoops um, so yeah, once that's done, it's about working on the cover plate, which I'll get all this stuff out of the way. And before you can work on the cover plate, <laughs> you got to get it out of there. Well, it's inside. So even though I just put all those Clecos on, now I got to take them all off again. Yeah, at the time I was cursing a little bit because I was like, man, if I'd only read ahead like two seconds. So now you can see I've got that little plate out and now I'm trying to figure out what the heck what am I supposed to be doing? More specifically, I'm looking for the hardware I need. And it's important that you use the right pieces of hardware. The K1100 nut plate uh, is in a bag with another pack of nut plates that look exactly the same. They look like this. Uh, this drives me nuts. I can't believe they did this. They put these two nut plates in the same bag and they're close enough to be easily confused. You wanted the bottom one there, by the way. Here I'm going through and obviously disassembling everything in preparation to take it out and get it all primed and ready to go. Uh, I'll do that tomorrow, I believe. Uh, prior to priming everything, I have to go through and start dimpling things. And the first thing you have to do is dimple up the, the various parts for this uh, trim cable assembly, we'll call it. Um, and I had to read a bunch of times because I felt it was unclear as to which parts are supposed to be dimpled and which aren't, especially considering there are different sized holes. Um, and after reading and flipping back and forth and going everywhere, I determined that you are in fact supposed to dimple everything, including the nut plates themselves. It makes sense later once you start installing everything. And that's it for this time, tracking my hours there, doing a little bit of work, and then going inside. Have a good night, guys.